thematically, like I'm very obsessed with like nostalgia and like love and loss. Even when I do animation or live action or whatever, like I, I, I think I tap into nostalgia a lot, you know, to kind of like pull from that. Yeah, I'm Chris Merck. I'm a director. I kind of jump around mediums quite a bit. So I'm kind of, I think of myself as a mixed media kind of multidisciplinary director, you know? So like kind of jump around between animation, visual sets, live action. I like um, just making stuff, you know? I guess I've always had engagement with film, you know what I mean? Like I think my earliest recollection of film is probably being taken as a toddler. My parents took me to go see Rocky. For a long time as a kid, I was like into like all sorts of random stuff, like cartoons and like film and video games and stuff like that. And probably like in college is where I started taking it more seriously, you know, where I was like making like really bizarre films <laughs> and like animations and I was just, eventually just kind of snowballed into like, I guess what I start to do now, you know. Uh, I had a really strong turning point. It was this De La Soul music video, but it was like super low budget, way low budget, like compared to commercials. And I had a lot of hesitations. I was like, oh, should I do this? Like this money, I don't know how I'm gonna pull it off. And then like, I had a friend actually just go, yo, it's De La Soul, just do that. Like, <laughs> I was like, yo, this is, yeah, you're right. I'll just figure it out later, you know? That kind of got me into music videos. And then like, I kind of got addicted to that medium, you know? Like, it was like, oh man, this is like super exciting every time. <laughs> to be honest, I pull a lot from like uh, the canon of like American film. I think filmmaking is like, a, this. it's kind of weird at some point because it can be definitely like a, a universal kind of cosmic dialogue in some bizarre way where like the canon of film in general becomes fair play like when somebody puts out a film there's so many things that will be inspired by that film and like sometimes you just look at a scene and you see something that works or a setting or a tonality or a way something shot and it's like that's it james to my surprise is kind of like a I guess it's like a bit of a speculative fiction piece that maybe is like a little truer now than it used to be when I was making it. I think anything that's like kind of like a speculative fiction kind of roots itself and like kind of like mirrors what your reality is, which is like something powerful about maybe the music video medium. It was definitely like a lot of me dealing with like grievances about where we're at as a society. I mean, I started as a designer, so like my primary skill set with design, you know? So like, and that translates pretty well into animation. Image making is pretty powerful in itself. I like to start with the image and that kind of like motivates a lot of the animation work I do. I think my style is very like loose. So like I, I kind of like that sensibility where like things can jump around and it's almost like channel surfing, you know? Like where it's like, oh, this could be one thing, but then it could be something else and not have that feeling of things being too sacred, like letting it break a little bit and then fixing it afterwards. So you can kind of do some things animation, some things live action, and sometimes they can be both, you know, and it just depends on what it is. Yeah, I've definitely been discouraged quite a bit. There's always like something, like just keep doing your thing. I mean, at the end of the day, like that's all that matters. Like you gotta be like super into what you're doing um, and just do a lot of it.